A gentleman in Moscow creates its story by placing fictional characters in the middle of real-world historical events, and Moscow's 1917 Bolshevik Revolution is one of the cornerstones of the show's penchant for realism. The original 2016 novel of the same name written by Amor Tolls doesn't just use the Russian Revolution as one of its historical hallmarks. For instance, a gentleman in Moscow's Metropole Hotel is also a real building in the Russian capital. However, the hotel itself is mainly used as the story setting due to its significance during the Bolshevik Revolution in the early 20th century. Ewan McGregor leads the cast of A Gentleman in Moscow as Count Alexander Rostov. The story begins in 1922, although the Count has already been back in Russia for four years. As such, he voluntarily returned to his home country while fully aware that the Bolshevik Revolution had begun. Therefore, Alexander knew very well the risk he was undertaking by returning to Russia, with the violent acts being inflicted on those in his social class. A Gentleman in Moscow episode 1 reveals the macabre fates of Alexander's peers, and they take place in a setting heavily based on reality. The Bolshevik Revolution was part of the Russian Revolution between 1917 and 1923. Alexander Rostov returns to Moscow a year before the end of the revolution in A Gentleman in Moscow. The Russian Revolution is something of an umbrella term that also encompasses the Bolshevik Revolution. The Bolshevik Party was formed in 1903, two years before the beginning of the First Russian Revolution in 1905. The Bolsheviks called for the end of capitalism, wanting the Tsar and the ruling classes to become a thing of the past. The movement began a period of political unrest within Russia and the Russian Empire at large. The 1905 revolution, sometimes referred to as, the Great Dress Rehearsal, had Russia's working classes going on strike, and there were mutinies within the Russian military. While the 1905 revolution achieved some reform for the Russian people, the Bolsheviks seized control of the country in 1917, beginning another era of domestic revolution for six years. The Bolshevik Revolution is also referred to as the October Revolution due to the month of its origin in 1917. During this period, the Russian royal family was executed. In addition, many other members of the ruling classes were similarly killed for their status. The revolution aimed to rid the nation of capitalism via these violent methods. Moscow's unrest resulted in it being restored as the Russian capital in 1918. The Bolshevik Party's connection to Vladimir Lenin explained. Lenin was the first leader of the USSR. When the Bolsheviks came to power in 1917, the political group renamed itself and became the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Although the Soviet Union didn't exist until 1922, the period between 1917 and 1922 is referred to as Soviet Russia. When the Soviet Russian era began, Vladimir Lenin founded a new government and also became the head of the newly named Communist Party. The Bolsheviks based their manifesto on Marxist ideals, as did Vladimir Lenin. However, Lenin further developed Marxism, and these adaptations led to the term Leninism. In short, his goals were to favor Russia's working class. Soviet Russia became the Soviet Union under the administration of Vladimir Lenin, but he died two years later, in 1924, at the age of 53 years old. Marxism-Leninism continued to be the ideology of the Soviet Union for another 67 years after Vladimir Lenin's death, with the Union falling in December 1991. Lenin's goals were to, via Investopedia, impose collective control over the means of production, redistribute wealth, abolish the aristocracy, and create a more equitable society for the masses. However, his attempts to achieve his aims were incredibly violent and resulted in many deaths.